Services. Uh, today I'm with Joseph Rubel, Rubel Home Inspections, and we're going to talk to you about um, what you should do now that it's spring, um, some maintenance tips, what what you spend now, hopefully a few pennies, will turn into dollars later. Joe, so what, what do you got for us today? Well, it is spring, and it's so nice to be warm. So uh, by taking a few minutes and allowing your home maintenance, these home maintenance tips, um, there's like we, you mentioned, you can save lots of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, if you save, ideally, if you save a one to four percent or one house payment to put for maintenance back into the house, that will keep your house kind of fresh and updated. Okay. Um, spring is one of the most important times to do maintenance on the house because it's been winter. So most people don't go out and look at the house. Right. So you've had a long period where you've had ice and snow. So it's kind of done some things mm -hmm. um, to the house. Unless you're an awesome heating man, um, you may want to, like contractors, this is spring, so it's their busy season. So if you start work contacting them now, uh, in the time frame that they have, sometimes they're a month or two months out to get things taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, as, you, well, as you go on the outside of your air conditioner, it is starting yeah. to get that season. Um, starting to see, you know, the, do the spring maintenance tips. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to get it uh, clean and serviced. Uh, there's, Repair companies that will come clean it and service it. Make sure it's all up to date so when it gets 90 degrees and you want it, it's there and ready to go. Yeah. Right then. Um, as well, in the wintertime, most gas furnaces will have a humidifier, which adds water to the house so it doesn't feel dry and sticky, but you want to make sure you shut that water, that off. Okay. Uh, funny story, our house, I totally forgot about shutting it off. And what happened was I went down in June had water all over the floor underneath the furnace. I'm thinking, oh no, call the repair, repair guy. Right. His furnace is leaking. But I just forgot to shut that water off and the air conditioning season pulls out the water. Right. But it wasn't enough to, so I had an excess water and the drain was blipped up. Um, okay. okay. And then it, as well as sometimes if you have high and low returns, mm -hmm. um, in the winter time, you would use the low return because that takes the cool air and okay. warms it up. In the summertime, if you have a high air return, the heat is closer to the ceiling, so you'll bring that in and cool that off. And then as well as you'll want to change the rotation of your ceiling fans, because mm -hmm. that yeah. in the summertime, um, you'll want to bring the heat up, where in the wintertime, you want to bring the heat down. So we have um, gutters and downspouts. Usually, uh, February, we had that ice and snow. Right. Um, the gutters filled with ice, mm -hmm. and as you get that freeze and thaw cycle, sometimes it'll split the seams, so which the caulk joint um, could have been cracked, so you could have leaky corners. Mm -hmm. So you want to just reseal them, not a big deal. Right. As well, um, the roof, you always want to check uh, your roof just from storm damage. You never know if you get a shingle blown up or something. Right. Or if you're cutting the grass and find a shingle in your yard. And you know, oh, something's going on. Yeah. Um, well, like you said earlier, we don't get out as much in the wintertime and, and look around the house, look at the roof and all that, like we do in the summertime when we're mowing grass or doing something. Exactly. Yeah. You can just you look know, at the house when you're so, mowing grass from different angles. Yeah. And you should be able, you could be able to see a, a different color that wasn't there before. Right. Something happened. If you're not a uh, height uh, call a roofer or a handyman to come do that as well. Yeah. Um, as we talked about the gutters, the downspouts, the roof vents. Big concern. Um, all the good critters are looking for one place to raise their young ones. Um, sometimes if you don't put screens on the, on the vents, um, the birds or bats could be getting into your attic. Mm -hmm. um, they're just trying to find a nice warm, dry place to raise their young ones. So uh, unless you want to wake up to hear them chirping in the mornings, <laughs> um, they just keep them out. Right. Yeah. Uh, chimneys, you always want to check the cap. Um, as well as the spark arrester, because as it goes down inside, you know, you can get critters to make nests inside of that, or if there's cracks around it, they'll go flashing. So those are areas that water could come in as well. Mm -hmm. um, in your basement, you definitely want to check you know, your sub pump. Yeah. Um, most sub pumps, we always recommend if you have a sub pump to get a uh, like a battery backup or a water backup. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you, we get storms and yeah. fall, things fall, and sometimes you lose power. 
uh, when you get a bit heavy rain, that's not necessarily a good time if you have a cell phone. Right. And you have lots of water and yeah. no power, so you want to have some type of backup system just in case you need it. Yeah. Um, the exterior in general, you always want to have, you know, check the condition of the paint, caulking, and around the windows. Um, and then you, uh, as, as the snow melts, you want to make sure the grade is good. You should have a, so water runs away from the house, mm -hmm. um, usually one inch per foot. Okay. So that gives it away. If you have it running, running this way, the water could puddle there. If you have per chance, per chance a crack in the basement, it could come into the basement yeah. or crawl space. Yeah. Um, like we talked about, it's a, kind of, it's a great segue in the basement. Just want to, especially when we have our nice heavy rains, mm -hmm. go down and walk around the exterior. And what you're okay. looking for is water. Um, water is dark and it's wet, so you'll be able to see that as well. Mm -hmm. Crawl space, not many people want to go in the crawl space. Right. We'll be glad to do that for you. But you could check that as well for water entrance. Water is enemy number one in the house because yeah, it causes moisture and mildew mm -hmm. and all kinds of, and, and critters. Um, plumbing, you'll want to check your hose, the exterior hose faucet, hose big is a fancy word for it. Mm -hmm. um, because if you have left your hose plugged in and turn it on, Sometimes it'll freeze and break yeah. that silcock. That silcock broken could cause water in the basement, water outside, uh, before you start doing a lot of yard work and landscaping. Um, and it's just nice to get outside and get the fresh air right. and plant flowers and you know make your house look yeah. pretty again. Right. Um, the plumbing, we talked about the clothes dryer was a very okay. important thing. Uh, sometimes if your clothes don't seem to be drying, it's not the dryer, it's the vent. That vent gets plugged up with lint. So it is recommended to be cleaned annually. Um, and it just you can do that yourself or you can call the company that cleaned up works and, and vents. A lot of house fires occur in yeah, the dryer. I've heard that. And, and then mine is my dryer is in the basement and goes up the wall a very good distance. Before it goes out, correct. So and those elbows, yeah, catch the. Lid. There's at least two there, and they start this big, but by the time they right. So if you're having to dry your, if you're having to dry your clothes twice, it's probably the dryer the vent yeah. is plugged up. I um, mean, and then as well as your refrigerator coils, if you can just roll it back and vacuum that inside, it's like a little air conditioner inside. Mm -hmm. It does collect dirt and dust. It's it's amazing. If you have a nice clean house, it's like, where did all this stuff come from? It's just yeah. Picks it up as, yeah. as, as well. And like you said earlier, most of these things are places where we don't see every day. If it's something you see, then it's obvious, but Correct. something like that is kind of hidden. So you have to pull the refrigerator out and take a look. Yeah, take that little yeah. back panel off and, and back, clean and vacuum it. Yeah. And then um, sprinkler irrigation system. Mm -hmm. um, it's spring range, we don't really have to worry about it, but it will help in the later in the dry season. And most irrigation companies I know for our house, what they would do is they would just come turn it on and when you're in the subdivision, they'll come turn everybody on in the subdivision. Okay. And they'll, they've got like an unwritten, they'll fix everything up to $200. If it's more than $200 on top of the, the fee to turn it on, then they'll call you and get authorization. But I mean, heads break, you know, something pops, uh, life happens. Yeah. So they'll fix anything that needs to be fixed um, and get it working for you. Okay. Uh, the decks definitely want to get decks you want to get um another coating of paint uh, one year we painted our deck three times mm -hmm. uh, it's just because of operator error uh, when i first painted it i power washed it to get all the loose paint off and i thought it was dry so i painted it and when i touched it it just peeled right off the wood was too wet for the whole the paint okay the second time i painted it i let it dry and it was only a 20 percent chance of rain so I finished it up about 5.30, 6 o'clock, 4.30 the next morning, the thunder rang and it, it peeled it back off. So finally, the third time, we got it to where it would stick. Uh, so in the pools, yeah. you definitely want to get, if you get it in the springtime, if you buy your chemicals for the whole year, you can, a lot of times the swimming pool companies will sell their chemicals at a reduced rate. So if you buy all everything you need for the year, then you'll, you've bought it for a reduced rate and you just kind of use it as needed. Yeah, that's a good idea. 
And then we have mentioned, um, obviously, uh, with the time change, everybody recommends changing the batteries and the smoke right. detector and carbon monoxide detector. Um, but you haven't, it's always a good thing to do that mm -hmm. as well. And then you just general washing windows and, and walls. Right. To put in the maps. Yeah. Well, those are good tips. Yeah. And, and like we said earlier, it doesn't cost a whole lot right now to do it. it saves you a lot in the long run if something would go wrong. And we do offer a maintenance inspection, oh. which is kind of a, we do a quarterly maintenance inspection to make sure that we get up on the roof and go through the attic and go through the crawl space. The areas we don't really know what wants to get to. Right. And do you look at equipment as well? Yeah, we'll, we'll, yes, we'll that. kind of do, yeah. uh, you know, check the air conditioner. Um, usually when we check the air conditioner, what we do is we check for temperature difference. Mm -hmm. um, the air in the house is usually in the 70s, mm -hmm. so it should come up 15 degrees cooling if it's operating properly. Okay. Um, and then they would check the filters and check the, the outside unit and the inside. Neat. All right. Well, folks, hope this has helped you this morning, uh, get you ready for spring. Uh, and if you've got any questions, why give Joseph a call. What, what's your all's number? 812. 945-7478. All right. And we appreciate you stopping in and talking with us today. Um, I hope you have a good day. I hope you learned something from it. And again, I'm Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. Thank you so much.